We're going to be taking a look at endpoints of a function on an interval. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be sketching graphs. And a lot of times, especially for trig functions, we want to know a left and a right uh, value so that we can narrow it down and figure out its critical points on that interval. Trig functions go on forever, and if we didn't have endpoints, we'd have infinitely many critical, point, critical points. Or sometimes for rational functions, too, you might want to narrow it down and just look at asymptotes on a certain interval. So an endpoint, you know, doesn't involve a derivative. It just involves looking at the left and right x values that they give you and figuring out what those points are. So it's actually very simple to figure out endpoints of a function. For our example, we're going to do sine squared of x minus pi over 2. That's going to be our function. And for our endpoints, we want to figure out where they are on the interval negative pi to pi over 4. So we have a <clears throat> just two x values, one on the left, one on the right, and it is a closed interval. We're just going to figure out what those corresponding y values are. So for our first step, we're just going to plug in negative pi to figure out what. Step one, plug in the x left x value. We're going to figure out whatever that y value is. Okay. So step two is going to be to solve. Now negative pi is the same as negative two pi over two. That way we can combine it with the minus pi over two. So it's ultimately negative three pi over two inside of here. Now we are squaring that, so it's sine squared of negative 3 pi over 2. So whatever we figure out sine of negative 3 pi over 2 to be, we're going to have to square that. Now fortunately we know that negative 3 pi over 2 is the same as pi over 2, right? It's negative 270, which is the same as 90. So what is sine of pi over 2? Well, well, it's 1, so once we figure that out, then we square it and we get 1 back. So our left end point is just negative pi comma 1. Okay, so for step three, just write out your left endpoint. Now, you know, there's going to be two endpoints, so that's just part of it. Now we want to figure out the right endpoint. Now our right x value was pi over 4, so we're going to plug that in. For step four, plug in your right x value, pi over 4. Now pi over 4 minus pi over 2, we need a common denominator, so it's going to be pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 4, same as pi over 2. You can see it's going to give you negative... Uh, let's see, negative pi over 4, all right, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So it's sine squared of negative pi over 4. Again, you evaluate the sine first, and then you square it. Sine of negative pi over 4, if you remember on the unit circle, it's going to be down here, which is the same as 315. The y value is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. Once we figure out negative sine, sine, once we figure out sine of negative pi over 4 equals negative square root of 2 over 2, and we can square that. The negative is going to go away. Square root of 2 over 2 squared is just 2. And then 2 squared is 4, so it's going to be just 2 over 4. It's going to give us 1 half. Okay? So our right endpoint is pi over 4, comma, 1 half. And so for step 6, just write out your right endpoint. So you just have two endpoints. Your left endpoint is negative pi, over, negative pi comma, 1. Your right endpoint is pi over 4, comma, 1 half. And that's it. And again, this is useful when you're, for when you're graph sketching and you want to narrow down your domain. What does this look like? Well, fortunately, I've already sketched these two endpoints. Um, here's our left endpoint, negative pi comma 1. Here's our right endpoint, which is uh, points, uh, well, pi over 4, right, comma 0 0.5 or comma 1 half. So we can see that we've narrowed down our graph of uh, sine squared of x minus pi over 2 to a particular domain. Otherwise, it would go on forever. And this is what our endpoints look like. So that's it for this example of finding endpoints of a function. If you have any questions about it, let me know.